Peter Rande, we are going to give a lecture also in the University of Western Australia. I think that this is very important for me personally, but also important for uh, the Sudanese, South Sudanese, African writers who write on different aspects of Africa and for South Sudanese for South Sudan because uh, it encourages people that. South Sudanese publishers uh, outside South Sudan could take that task of publishing and then invite people to come actually and launch their book and their books. I think this is very good. And I'm very grateful to the uh, Africa uh, uh, World Books for invitation and I look forward to the launch and the lecture. Thank you very much. Looking forward to it. Abraham and I'm, um, South, I'm from South Sudan. So what, what, what was your thought about to tonight's event? I think that it was, um, it, was it was a fantastic event. We need um, this kind of event and the engagement to, to talk about the issues that matter to us as a, as a continent and also as you know individual countries such as South Sudan and all the rest of Africa. I think we need more of this. So it was a great event. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, I think this is one of the greatest events that we um, that we had here at UWA, and we want to thank the um, the UWA and the Center for African Research and Engagement for um, for the quick engagement that we had in the community at the moment. We thank all the members of the South Sudanese and the African and friends for attending this uh, great event. So we thank Dr. Uh, Guy for sharing his ideas of the global trends and the globe and the job global politics of the world with us as the South Sudanese Australian. So it's all much appreciated. Thank you. Okay, thank you. My name is Shaul and the event uh, is very good and I appreciate uh, Dr. John and I appreciate also the center. We thank the center. I think this event uh, and the quite engaging for the community, especially the African community in Western Australia. 
and we would like also to encourage the, the center to also host an event like this in the future and also invited another uh, guest speakers uh, from other parts of Africa. So we thank the center for this. They are quite very good event and the African community, as you could see, the gathering and people were very happy uh, with, the, with the sharing of ideas. So thank you so much. Uh, Richard Vokes, I'm an anthropologist here at the University of Western Australia. On behalf of uh, UWA and in particular on behalf of the new Africa Research and Engagement Centre here at UWA, I'd like to thank Dr. Yeo for his talk this evening, which was fascinating and really introduced all of the main issues in world development from an Africa perspective. Uh, I'd like to thank Peter Deng of Africa World Books for helping to bring this event uh, about. And we very much hope that this won't be the last time that Dr. Yeo is here. And we very much hope that this won't be the last time that uh, UWA and AFRIC does community engagement events with the South Sudanese uh, community. Thank you. Thank you so much. My name is Dr. David Mikla and I'm the director of the Africa Research and Engagement Centre here at the University of Western Australia. Uh, it was a really fantastic event. We were um, absolutely delighted to have Dr. Yeo speak to us uh, this evening. He really touched on some of the big picture issues that are affecting the world and, uh, and looked at how Africa uh, was positioned within the changing international landscape. So it was a really fantastic turnout. Great to see lots of members of the South Sudanese community here in Western Australia. Uh, and we look forward to future events uh, in partnership with the community. John, John Corb, uh, it was great to hear uh, Dr. Yeo expound his ideas for problems confronting the world and Africa as a whole. Um, more questions posed than solutions given, but from my own uh, studies and experience, that's the reality. We all have to work towards solving these things. And personally, I believe in the future of Africa and the world. I, I have no doubt that Africa will become a world leader in many ways in the coming decades.